backstage. It's 4 o'clock. It's just occurred to me that I'll be on stage around midnight. So, Smuckers is here with me. And you want to know the true secret behind the rice cakes and the jam is it just tastes good and you can have a couple of them and not worry. It doesn't actually do shit. The questionable thing about distribution on a rice cake is like this divot. I mean, technically that's extra in that area, so you need to think about that. Unless you just want like a couple power bites where there's extra, you know what I mean? And don't get right up to the edge, that shit's gonna get all over your fingers. That's no good. Then you're that guy, shaking hands with sticky, sticky fingers, no good. Make sure I don't have to share with anybody. So good when it hits your lips. The music came on with it. It's like they were celebrating my fucking rice cake. Right. Closed out my ass for the rice cake. They saw the distribution. So we are uh, sitting backstage, just getting ready to walk on for the finals at my pro debut. Gonna hit my routine here shortly, and then uh, that'll be it for the first round. Weekend went really well. Um, conditioning came in the way I wanted it to. Best I've been by a long shot. Uh, slightly disappointed last night after prejudging, because I just thought I would have pulled up a little bit higher in the placings based on what I did bring. But rather than focus on that, I'm trying to really focus on what I know is missing now and what we need to do to advance and move forward you know it's really easy the knee jerk is to say well i had this this and this and that was better than their this but at the end of the day the reason that the best guys win is they have it all they've got the size they got the conditioning got the balance they got it all so for me it's it's bringing my lower half in getting it to blow up spending the time to make that happen and uh once we get that done making that happen in this offseason, getting my lower body to grow will bring the same condition I'm known for, same back I'm known for, and we go from there. Yeah, body tends to be a little thirsty. Since I'm not drinking, it's going with that. So when you're dry, your body tends to suck the oil back in, so I have to pay her double. But double of zero is still zero, so it's, it's a good deal. Go. Yeah, Thank you so much. Yep. Almost time to go have fun. I put together zero routine. I said, have some fun, go kill it, show what all your hard work is all about. It's all for this one two minute period of time. All that early mornings, picture taking, starving. Doesn't matter where you place, it's like an art show. People don't come to an art gallery to look at one thing. They have all different tastes and choices. Dusty's got his fan base, so he's here to put on a show for them. And a show he will put on. They like the nasty shit. The My nasty. fans are the nasty shit. Right? <laughs> Big and nasty. Our next competitor is making his IFBB Pro debut from Scottsdale, Arizona, Dusty Henshaw. Chase my dreams. I won't regret when the sun sets. Cause I live my life like I'm a
fun. Made all up on the spot, as you can tell. <laughs> it was fun. Now we wait, hang out, and great for the good stuff. So it was uh, a good experience to knock the first one out. I'm happy with the conditions, better today than yesterday. So now we uh, enjoy Jose putting on a show. Show me what 35 pro shows look like and 100 amateur shows. And uh, slowly follow his lead and learn some more shit. So that's what this weekend was all about really for me. It's just going through the process, getting the shakes out of the way from the first pro show. I promised myself I'd bring something that no longer looked like an amateur. I know I achieved that because uh, this will smoke any me version I've ever had. So that's key. And now we uh, advance, blow these legs up where they want them, and just continue to uh, exceed what was assumed I could do. I can't even say any more expected because I'm finding that uh, people are starting to realize to just assume I'm gonna break what they expect. So I think people expect me to do what I say, bring the legs up and find myself in that top five of the next uh, outing I do. So appreciate you guys along for the ride.